It's time to give Standard a taste of chaos with the Naga Demon Hunter. So this is a deck that was nerfed in the past week if you use the Demon Package. However, we are not going to be doing that. We're going to be playing pure Naga Demon Hunter, where essentially the game plan is to be using Blind Eye Sharpshooter in order to OTK our opponent by drawing through our entire deck. We're going to be discounting this through things like Argus and Wayward Sage, getting additional copies through Oasis Outlaws, and so on and so forth. Now, for the Wolling Guy, the most important card to keep is a Blind Eye Sharpshooter. If you see this in your opening hand, you should be able to easily get the combo online by like turn six or seven, thus allowing you to finish off your opponent that way. Outside of this, you're going to be looking for things like Greedy Partner as a way to get additional zero cost spells and additional mana. Then you also are going to be looking for things like Illidari Studies as early game removal. Now with that all being said, let's look at some games. Okay, time for a game against Demon Hunter. Also worth mentioning, this game in particular, I'm pretty sure was from before the balancing changes, but I still kind of just wanted to showcase it because it was actually just a fun game. Let's keep everything here. Argus is probably a little bit questionable, but because we do have that Sage in hand, we can use the Sage to discount Argus, which is actually pretty decent for our game plan. Argus Wall is a very decent card in the list, is one of those things that, um, well, probably isn't necessary. You have a lot of ways to mana discount in the list, but I really, I, I don't know. I don't get to use Argus that often, and I've been trying to make use of him since he came out. I try to make use of like all the Titans in some like deck where they're at home, in, and Argus just hasn't really had one as of yet. The closest I think was I might have used him in the Rivendare deck that no one saw. All right, let's discount everything by one. That'll allow us to draw more. Oh uh, yeah, let's let's do this. Okay, and then next turn we'll hopefully discount both Arth Argus and the Sigil of Time, but uh, we might not be able to depending on what we actually top deck. It also depends, like, there's a few other cards that we would want to hit there, too. Anything good? Oh, well, I, I mean, this works out pretty well for us. Huh. You know, we probably should have just discounted both of those. Now that I'm thinking about it, we probably should have used this Sage on the left first, and then discounted Argus by two. All right, yeah, th this is a game before the balance changes. Sorry, I reordered the the videos that I was going to upload due to the Boulder Fist Ogre skin, and I, I still wanted to cover this deck just because I, I felt like I haven't been able to cover Naga Demon Hunter at all on the channel, and it's a deck that I've been wanting to do for a while because there is some really good short footage that I can easily do. All right, it's this good old combo. Okay, draw three. Come on, give us some stuff that we can actually make use of. Uh, well, that that isn't the worst. We could go Sage. Sage discounts Argus. We can Hero Power. It's only two, though. Taste of Chaos, see what we can grab. Um, Fan the Hammer is actually probably decent. And we might as well get rid of that and then get rid of the other minion. We want to minimize how many small minions they have on board because as long as we get into Sharp Eye, we're actually pretty sound. That toy is no justice. The minion, go Vase, come on to the good. Might as well slam down our Salesman. Also a card that probably should be nerfed at some point. I don't know how you would fix the card because it is just a card that you don't need zero cost spells, but it the thing that is used more for is cycling through your deck or your opponent. Well, your opponent uses it to cycle through their deck in a lot of cases, and it's just a really good well statted one cost minion. So maybe lower the stat line on it. Maybe that would fix it a little bit. Okay, okay. There, there's a few top decks that would be really, really good. Come on, give me, me any of them. Momentum could work. Oh, Sharp Eye. Sharp Eye is exactly what we want. Now the question is, do we try to wipe out our minions? Nah, nah, nah. Let, let's just do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sharp. So, 
Sharp Eye for two mana, zero mana, and then we have a bunch of zero cost spells and one cost spells. We we're in such a good position now. As long as they don't have 23 damage. I know Demon Hunter does have a tendency to be able to get 23 damage right here, but you know, um It's a little bit annoying. Mathematically, depends on what we top deck to off of Sharpshooter. Them going after Argus is amazing, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Like, they don't have to clear him out. I get why they are kind... No, actually, no, I don't. <laughs> there, There's actually no reason to clear him out. It gets you to a lower HP pool, and then... Okay. A greedy partner... Okay. I think we're going to risk it for the biscuit. And hopefully, because we're not taking the three damage from Magtherodon, right? So they have four damage on board, and then they have, well, five damage on board minimum. So they need, they need to find 12 more damage. And it looks like it's the mech version of the list and not the Naga version. By the way, I tried out that version a lot to uh, actually climb ladder this month. Uh, I, I did not like it. I... The issue I had with the deck is it ran out of steam so quickly. I, the reason why I ended up being like, hey, I kind of want to do Naga Demon Hunter on the channel uh, was just due to the fact that like, A, I've never done Naga Demon Hunter, but B, the more important thing is, oh, that was the worst hit. Oh, maybe, maybe not. If it hits there again, it doesn't really matter. Okay, 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 we can, we can do this. Yeah, let's go, because it hits there instead. All right, let's coin. I, I would have preferred it not to hit another minion, but that that's... that's Okay, just keep on drawing cards, I guess. Uh, yeah, we gotta use him. Oh, the second sharpshooter. Um, that ends our combo, kind of, if we used him. Okay, so we're at 13. Wait, wait. We actually are going to get it. Oh, it tr turns out we have the momentum to win. And the momentum doesn't stop here. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, time for a game against Mage. Let's see what they have in store for us. Mage is a class that I think is a little bit unexplored in the current meta. I know it probably isn't the strongest, but it is something that feels decent, especially because it has so much freeze support. We're going to be getting rid of two of our cards here. See what we can get. And the original hand was better than the new hand. So it is what it is. Okay, they're going to slam down Artificer here. <laughs> oh man, what is it with me and mulliganing away a card and instantly drawing into it once again. Uh, let's grab Chaos Strike and then just pass it back. Next turn, we'll use our hero power, get rid of the Artificer, and then we'll be fine. They're going to gain two armor, which is still okay. I would have preferred maybe not having to deal with that, but you know, it is what it is. All right, so again, yeah, probably hero power then. Uh, we could do a, l a few other things too. Let's get use Artifice or... Whatever. Illidari Stardis, get three minions. Three minions become two. Armorial Glyph. Find some more cards. Or create more cards, I should say. Alright. I guess we can draw three or four next turn we won't burn any cards which is what we want to prevent yeah, it's one of those things where as much as i wanted to do oh maybe we're facing elemental mage that's interesting i want to do something with elemental shaman which is something that i haven't done yet there should be fun ways to like make that deck work uh we'll, we'll figure it out when we eventually come to it um, <laughs> I'm gonna grab mischief, get rid of the minion, just kill all by one. I don't know, but the other two options would have been fine, but we couldn't easily trigger either. Well, we could have triggered one of them, we couldn't trigger the other one. Heat wave, <laughs> there's hard running heat wave. Uh, okay, well. <laughs> 
Oh, that feels bad. That definitely feels bad. At least they're wasting some of their direct damage, right? That That's always a plus side. Oh, that is a card. That helps pretty well because we do have Argus in the right hand most position. <laughs> and that helps even more. Okay, so next turn we'll probably slam down Argus, discount everything by two. Then we'll have a one cost sharpshooter, which is incredibly strong. Uh, ooh, that makes that feel a little bit worse to do, but you know. Eh. It hurts. I mean, it doesn't hurt this turn because we're not going to be trying to go for the direct damage, but it does hurt in the future. There is no way that we can easily deal with the 2-4, right? Because that is definitely something that I would love to deal with, but I don't think we have a way to. We could have also repositioned or like positioned stuff. Oh, oh, of course. I feel like every time I face Mage in this deck in particular, they always have reverbs in their hand, even though I, I should expect it, but like it is a little bit annoying. We don't really have an answer to this board. Come on, going down swinging. That's the top deck that we want to see. Okay, that isn't it. We can slam it down for the additional coin. That's still fine. I, I don't really want to use the sharpshooter here, but we might end up having. All oh, right, we have going down swinging in hand. I'm just dumb. Guys, ignore what I said previously. <laughs> we clear out the board, then pass it back. Okay, stargazing. I also realize I haven't really done anything with arcane mage. I, I know I kind of indirectly have. Actually, no, I haven't. The more I think about it, the more I really haven't, right? That freeze does hurt. I, I, I won't lie, the freeze hurts a lot. We gotta hope they don't have six damage for the next few turns. Like, our hand-wise, we have so much stuff that could easily win us the game. We just can't be frozen. As long as we're frozen, we lose the game, right? Well, I mean, <laughs> why? Uh... Okay, that's an interesting card. There's a lot of like interesting neutral cards that I haven't done anything with. Boppy Hydra is the first one that comes to mind. Uh, that That's not going to last too long, right? But, you know. Eh. What? It only discounts one of them, but that's still fine. We got to hope they don't have five damage. I know that. Seems a little bit weird, but we just gotta hope they don't have five. And we're wasting a lot of resources, but it, it's still fine. We... Mm. Don't have the five damage. As long as they don't have the five damage, we're fine. We're fine. We, we, we just gotta not have the five damage. And we, I mean them, but y you get what I'm saying, right? <laughs> uh, okay, drop or get in our coin, slam down, good old sharpshooter. And it isn't explosive room, which is good. And it isn't counter spell, that's even better. Sharpshooter number two. <laughs> okay, like, look, that that's gonna help in the long run, but like, hmm. That does really kind of hurt. Okay, sharpshooter number three is even worse than sharpshooter number two in this scenario. At least I think everything's synced up now. Actually, the new one isn't. It should be synced up, I think, now. All three of them should hit. So six damage. Oh, come on, go on. We just got to be really, really careful. Come on. Let's go and slam down an R1 and it's a GG. Every game against Hunter. Let's see what they have in store for us. I know Token Hunter is supposedly really strong. I, I have a lot of like in quote unquote insight you want to say uh, for what I tried and did or did not work for 
the ladder climb that I tried this month. A lot of the decks that I are supposedly top tier decks, they run out of steam so quickly that it comes. I don't know. I don't like decks that run out of steam or they don't have control aspects because decks that run out of steam quickly and don't have control aspects are just going to end up losing in the long run. At least that's what ended up happening. And then my opponent's always having the god hands. Also, I forgot to attack. I. Mm, <laughs> uh hopefully that doesn't bite us in the butt but you know so yeah they are token hunter i do have a twist on token hunter that i really want to try out and probably showcase on the channel uh, I'll, I'll give you a hint right now <laughs> it was actually supposed to be today's video but because of the boulder fist ogre video uh ev everything kind of got rearranged it was supposed to be floppy hydra and we, we we were supposed to be doing floppy hydra uh as the deck for today I still want to do something with Floppy Hydra, and we probably will still do something with Floppy Hydra. I just don't know when we're going to get to Floppy Hydra is, is, is the, the thing. Fingers crossed it'll be Monday. Trying to make use of as many, like, meme cards as I humanly can, because it seems like people like the meme decks more than the competitive decks, so, you know, eh. But I like to shove some competitive decks in from time to time. And though, I will say the Ogre deck was definitely a list that I did not expect to be as competitive as it is. Which is kind of funny. Anyways, though, back to this game before I get distracted again. Seeing the sharpshooter is so good here, though. I'm, I'm going to use this. I know that looks like a little bit of a waste, but I just want to get rid of the taunt on board, and I don't want to have to deal with them getting one additional damage off from the jungle gym. Hey, I actually remember what the name of the card is, and it's a relatively new card. Who would have figured? <laughs> I'm really bad at remembering cards, especially if I haven't used them myself that often. And I, I mean, jungle gym kind of just makes sense. I still haven't done a Highlander Hunter list, I don't think, either. Time to draw three. Oh, going down swing. Oh, let's go. That does clear out the board. Oh, no, it doesn't. It, yeah, pfft. I <laughs> I thought it cleared out the board, but it doesn't. It gets pretty close, though. They draw three. The, the fact we're at 15 HP right now is not something I want to see. The the mm, there mm, there's a few ways we can do this. I think coining Argus out, but using the summon for two is probably the smarter play. I, I would want to discount it, but yeah, I think we got to do it like this. This clears out two of the minions, leaving four of them up, or a big wall between us and them. And then, then we can discount our hand. It also doesn't help that we don't have any Nagas in hand besides Sharpshooter. The nice thing is, like, Hunter is definitely a class that can't easily get to or do enough damage to get rid of Argus, so I'm not, like, too worried about them destroying that. Okay, we're back up to 15. Oh, that. <laughs> that is the top deck of the century. This might be a little bit early. Yeah, we want to put that on this side. I might misplay here a little bit by accidentally putting something on the wrong side. Hopefully I won't. That's the, the hope and the dream. But we can heal ourselves up to full. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes my brain does work in mysterious ways. Oh, sharpshooter again. Use momentum. Get rid of the taunts. Guess we go for eye beam. Get rid of the minion. We've healed up to full almost. We have no more Nagas that we can put down, but, you know, not a bad turn. Not a bad turn. Not, like, perfect combo, but pretty close. And now, can you deal with our board? 
You could be saying we're shooting blind into this hunter's menagerie of beasts. Who is going to become the better hunter? The demon hunter or the regular one? Um, I think in this scenario, uh, the demon hunter has quite a bit of advantage. GG. All right, now that we're through the game, so let's discuss my final thoughts of the deck. So, is Demon Hunter a class that is still alive after the one nerf to it? Uh, I can sadly say the class feels a lot worse than it did before. Turns out the Demon Package actually kind of rose the deck to the top. And honestly, with it being nerfed, even if it is just one single card, it definitely makes this deck a lot weaker. This deck loses out on a bunch of AoE opportunities that it had before when you were using the Demon Package. But outside of that, you can still win a lot of games through just being able to manage it your way to victory by discounting everything by Argus or Wayward Sage. Overall, this is an incredibly hard deck to play and honestly isn't a deck that I can easily recommend because of the fact that it is so hard to play slash is one of those decks that does have quite a few counters in the current meta game of standard hearthstone but overall if you enjoyed the video please like comment subscribe until next time bye bye